I'm a big advocate of crate training dogs because when it's done right, it provides your dog with a safe and secure, happy place that they can go to when they want to rest or if they're feeling a little anxious. It helps keep your dog safe and it prevents escaping while traveling or during thunderstorms and fireworks too, which is really handy. It also helps with toilet training puppies as dogs generally don't like to soil in their beds and it helps prevent your dog, of course, from wandering around in the middle of the night unsupervised where they may sneak off and eliminate. Putting a puppy in their crate for some alone time also helps them to learn not to expect constant human attention. When you purchase a crate for your dog, size is important. Important. Your dog should be able to stand up in it, they should be able to lie down, they should be able to turn around, they should be able to sit like Darcy is here, but you don't want it so large that it removes that sense of security they feel from it or that they can actually eliminate in one end and sleep in the other because that's going to slow down the toilet training process. If you do want to get one that your puppy will still be able to use as an adult dog, then you put something to block off one side of it. There are three common types of crates, from wire crates to soft crates and airline carriers. I prefer the wire crates like the Lexi and Me one here because it's nice and open and it's really easy for crate training because as you can see, I can just drop the treats in here and make it a really positive association. And if I want to cover it over, then of course I can put a blanket over the top to provide some warmth and security as well. To crate train your dog, it must be done slowly and positively. You start by placing the crate in a central area where your dog is really comfortable. So to start off, you might have it in the lounge room where the family's there as well. So your dog still feels part of it all. And then you do it just really slowly using treats like I'm doing with Darcy here. So it really starts to create Create that positive association. What we want to make sure as well is don't let kids uh, climb all over it. If your dog's in there, give them space because we really want this to become their stress-free environment. You keep it open for a while, but then what you do is really praise them every time they're in there. And once they're getting comfortable, you might start to shut the door, but you never lock them in there. So while they're still feeling comfortable, you can keep the door shut. And then as they gradually build up their confidence and are really happy going in there, you can obviously shut it for longer and longer periods of time. Really, the aim is that the dog will start to take itself to their crate when they're feeling tired or if things are getting a bit too much for them. So it's always that nice, positive association. Good boy Darcy. You can check out the range of crates including the Lexi and Me wire crates at your local pet stock store. They also have wire play pens if you want to give your puppy a little bit more room to move during the day but still want to keep it in a contained space. If you do need some help with puppy training ask about joining puppy school at pet stock as well. Darcy you're doing very well in your crate there. Good boy. Yes. You like your crate don't you? <laughs>